Once you've installed the plugin for the vertical preview, if you open your file in Studio, so I've got this little um, TGX file that I've been playing around with earlier, and you then click on the View menu, and you'll see that it's added over here. Mine's really crowded because I've got all sorts of things in here. But if you see this little thing here, which looks like the colors of the old tag editor or workbench, if you click on that, it opens up a new window here for vertical review. Now you can put this anywhere you like. I'm just going to drop it in the middle of here with these ones. So it's conveniently over on the side here. And what this allows you to do, you can see that I've got the side by side here in studio. And now I've got that segment too, that's showing source above target, which is a bit easier for me to review possibly. With long segments, I'm a little dubious, but short segments, definitely it's better. And if I work my way down through the document here, you can see that it follows me in the preview. So although I can't edit the information in this preview window, it's easy for me to get back to the right place to make any changes because it's always following. And the same works in here. If I'm going up or down through the segments through in here, notice it follows me in the editor. So it's following me up and down. So it's far easier to be able to, to work whichever way you go. I like this, it's very nice. It's got some interesting settings. You can click on the settings window. And what this does is it allow, allows you to set how many segments you actually see before or after the active segment, which is quite useful. And you can also decide whether you want to show the source text or the translation text. So I guess that depends on where, where you're getting your context from. So if you're reviewing the, the target language translation, you might want to only see the target in the, in, in the right, in which case you'd have the translation text. If you were doing it the other way around, you might prefer to see the source. And so when you click on that, it's now changed so that I'm seeing all of the English text instead of the Welsh. I'll put that back to translation. You can also change the font size as well, so if you prefer it a bit smaller. Um, but it's nice. So you can very easily, there we go. Once it's refreshed, now I'm on Welsh. So you can very easily review a document the same way as you would have done it in Tag Editor or Microsoft Word by seeing the source on the top and the target below.